Three photos. Three photos are very different things. What's the connection? The connection is the broken window theory. It's a theory that was used to clean up the New York subway systems. And I think it's a theory we can apply to our own lives to clean them up too. Originally, a criminology theory, developed by two social scientists, Wilson and Kelling. And what they did is they made a connection between the environment and the rates of crime and antisocial behavior. And what they did is they recognized that in areas of urban decay, there was a higher crime rate and more cases of antisocial behavior than in well-kept, perhaps wealthy, suburban areas. And to me, it's a kind of domino effect. One broken window leads to another broken window. One social norm is broken, and it makes it easier for further social norms to be broken too. Now, imagine an empty building. Quite soon, a window, window gets broken. If it's not mended, further windows get broken. Graffiti gets written on there, and eventually someone breaks in. Think of an area like this, and what happens? It signals to others that crime is okay and crime rates and antisocial behavior go up. Now to stop, stop this effect, you need to address the environment. You need to clean it up. And that's where the New York subway system comes in. It was successfully applied, the theory, to cleaning up the New York subway system. And Kelling himself acted as a consultant to the New York transport authorities. And what they did is they looked at the environment. They thought and addressed a problem. They identified a broken window. That broken window was graffiti. And they cleaned up the, the, the railway. They cleaned the graffiti from inside and outside of the trains. Then daily, they made checks. If graffiti was found, they wiped it off. They took the carriages out of service until they were clean. And in that way, they mended the window. They solved the problem of graffiti on the trains. And by doing it systematically, they were then also able to address other problems and eventually cut the crime rates, improve behavior, and make the New York subways what they are today. Now, what's the connection between that, the broken window theory, and that inbox with too many unopened mails? Well, to me, it's a broken window. And broken windows in our own lives might be something quite small. But if you don't address that problem and you leave it, you end up with further broken windows, further problems which can lead to larger, bigger consequences. Take, for instance, the home. In the kitchen, it's easy not to wash up one day. But if you don't wash up the next, and the next, and the next, I think the consequences are quite obvious. <laughs> then you think of the work environment. Now, I'm someone that gets to work and cleans up, tidies my workspace. I can't function properly if my area isn't tidy. What's your workspace look like? And then, if you go into the wider community, my neighborhood, this is a common a common sight. And it seems that one person dumps rubbish and it signals to the rest of the world it's okay to dump further rubbish there. To summarize, the broken window theory is a theory that connects the environment with rates of crime and antisocial behavior. It was addressed and used to solve problems on the New York subway system. And in our own lives, I think you can apply it too. If you don't mend those windows and identify those problems, what happens? Further stress and chaos. So, sitting there, 
What broken windows have you identified in your life? And how are you going to mend them? <laughs>